Today's show, Avid Media Composer. Today, what's in the box today? What are the different flavors? How to buy it? If you saw the pre-show, I went in, 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 in detail into why I think Avid Media Composer is the best tool for the job. If you missed that, go back online and watch the pre-show. That's what we roll in on the on the. We'll include the pre-show on the uploaded version to YouTube and to our different sta stations. So let's jump right in. Avid Media Composer. Avid has switched to a subscription model. That's really what they want to sell you. There's still perpetual renewals available. Perpetual is not readily available anymore. And when you look at the numbers, what we're going to show you, you'll see that really you're much better off subscribing than you are buying at this point. The standard subscription is $239 per year. The ultimate subscription is $499.99 per year. Now, the standard and the ultimate, well, the video editing that you use, the actual video editor, is identical regardless of which version you use, whether you're using standard or ultimate, you're using the same exact video editor of Media Composer. The difference is, is that the standard version will not work in a Nexus environment, which means it's not going to be uh, shareable, collaborative, your work. And more importantly, the ultimate also gives you a whole set of tools that are really cool that we're going to go into later, but they include Script Sync, Phase Find, Symphony, and a few others. So we're going to get to that in a little bit, but first I want to go into something very important, and that is, is if you're purchasing a subscription from Video Guys or online, please, or from a local dealer, please understand there's two different flavors of each subscription. There's a renewal, if you're already a subscriber, which keeps you with your same system ID and everything in the Avid store and on the Avid database, or there's the news when you're buying a new subscription. Now, personally, I don't understand why Avid has, has these two different flavors. To me, If I subscribe to Netflix, if I subscribe to a magazine, if I subscribe to my cell phone service, it shouldn't be matter whether I'm new or whether it's a resubscription. If the price is the same, it's through the same parts, same everything. With Avid, unfortunately, you got to make sure you subscribe to the right version. So please, when you're on our website, make sure you subscribe to the renewal if you're renewing or the net new if you're new. And you'll see on our website in the little green, if you bring it up full page, you'll see. We say it's just a subscription if it's new or if it's renewal, we say renewal. And it's just that simple. The prices are the same. Now, sometimes when Avid runs promotions, they might do a promotion that's a little bit less on a renewal or a little bit less on the other one. But like I said before, hopefully in the next iteration sometime soon, we'll get some of these flavors down there and a subscription will be a subscription. Now, I mentioned before that when you get the ultimate, you get other stuff. So the key things that you get when you order... Media Composer also is phrase find. Now that is something that lets you find specific uh, clips looking for words in inside your video. Script sync, which will actually sync your video to a script if you're using a scripted uh, television show or movie. The symphony option gives you advanced color grading with precise control. It's a really nice color grader. And then you also with uh, the Avid uh, Ultimate, you can work as a team in a Nexus shared environment, which is really huge because now you can have two, three, four, five, 10, 20, 30, 50 people all working together. We're going to get to some team stuff a little bit later in the show. And then also we have Avid Nexus Storage Solutions, which are uh, the best shared storage solution for Avid editors. Now, Avid really has moved to subscriptions, but you can still get the support renewal. But the support renewal is now $532 a year. So if you're an individual who is just using Avid Media Composer, I want you to think about this is you could basically subscribe for two and a half years for the cost of a single year of standard support plan renewal. So I don't really understand if you're an individual Avid editor and you're not working in a team, there's really no need for you to own the software. Now, some people say, but if I own it, it's mine forever. Yes, that's true. But if you stop paying for the renewal, the support renewals, you're locked into whatever version you were on at the last time you paid. And when you're a subscriber with the subscriber, you always get the latest new version. So you can, you, you know, just look at this. It's, it's double the price of an annual subscription. And if you're just using the Media Composer software, you're not using PhraseFind, you're not using any of the ultimate uh, software puzzles, and you're also not collaborating with other people in a network environment, there's no reason not to switch over to the base subscription. You know what? A lot of people say, well, what happens if I don't edit for a while? Well, if you don't edit for a while, let your subscription lapse for three months, six months, a year, two years. And then when you want to start editing again, resubscribe your projects, your projects, your files, and your data, your data. 
It's just a matter of whether the license turns on for the software. So it's really time with the pricing that Avid has to switch over to a subscription. I, very few people should be on the report or plan renewals. Basically, if you're in a environment of multiple editors and you have to renew yours in order to be able to work with those editors, I get it, you're all on the same version. Now it makes sense. But for everyone else, really, you should be going to the standard version. Or if you're using Phrase Find, if you're using Script Sync, if you're using Symphony, you really should switch over to the Ultimate because it's going to be still lower by $30 a, a year for you, and you're going to have full access to the Ultimate. You're always going to be on the latest version, and you have all these great new tools as well. Also, if you're thinking about Avid and you've never used Avid, you want to check it out and play with it a little bit, you can download the Avid Media Composer first, which is a free version for download that you can play with yourself. All right. Media Composer, Phrase Fright, and Script Sync have been around for a while, and Avid was uh, basically leasing the technology from another company. Well, Avid has developed their own AI with their own stack, with their own capability and programming. So now phrase find AI option and script sync AI option are only available from Avid in the Media Composer Ultimate subscription. So phrase find super cool. It can save you so much time and effort. If you're doing working on a long project, you've got to find a, you, you, let, let's say you're doing a project on the presidential election. You can jump and find the word Trump. Let's say you're doing one on different cars and all of a sudden you want to do something on the Cadillac and you can't remember where you talked about that Cadillac. You can search for the word Cadillac, find it, and it'll take you to that, mar to that point of the timeline. So let's play a little video clip we have on what's cool about the new AI version of Phrase Find. And if you use Phrase Find, we have enhanced functionality there as well with Phrase Find AI. Using the same AI engine, when you search for a word or phrase with Phrase Find AI, you will see a new column with the sentence where the word or phrase was said. That way you can easily see where it was actually used in the sentence and make a more direct decision if you want to access a specific piece of media or footage. Script Sync AI option is another new option that's come out, much like Phrase Find. Now Avid has their own AI technology behind it. And the beauty of Script Sync is now if you're working with a script, you can actually sync your timeline to the script with the different takes where everything is going out. So very, very cool. Love Script Sync. We've got a little video of how Script Sync AI works now as well. In your project, select your clip or clips that you need to transcribe. Then right click and select Create Script from Clip. Or you can also map that option to a key. The result is a transcription of your clip set by the current script settings. You can always change them and rerun this feature if you have a different font or spacing that you'd like for your script. But not only does it transcribe the clip, but you also have the clip or take automatically marked where every sentence is spoken. What's even more exciting is that it senses the language and will create the transcription accordingly even if the clip has mixed languages in it. All right, now Script Sync AI and Phrase Find AI are just the tip of the AI iceberg for Avid. Over the last several years, Avid has been investing heavily in AI technologies, which will make use ed editing video, finding clips, moderating your video, marking your video, uh, everything having to do with your video is going to get a lot easier and a lot more straightforward with AI assists. In fact, uh, over the future, I think Avid's going to have so much AI and it'll be like having an assistant editor in the box or in the software. But for now, these are the first of the AI products that Avid has introduced. But like I said, there is a ton of investment going on by Avid. And I think at this year's NAB, we're going to see a whole suite of AI tools introduced for all levels of Avid editors. We're really excited about that. Next, I want to talk about Avid, and I said this at the beginning of the show when I was doing my pre-show about Avid Media Composer, and Avid Media Composer is not the world's easiest video editor to use. It's the best video editor to use. It's the one with the most features, with the deepest tool set that allows you to operate to those features through the online GUI or through muscle memory. Well, we've got a really good friend for years of ours, and for years, someone... Kevin McAuliffe has been a great friend of Video Guys for years. He's been doing tutorials going back three or four years, and Video Guys has been proud to sponsor them. And once again, we will be sponsoring his new 
uh, let's edit with media composers and where, where one of his edit, uh, one of his sponsors, and these videos are great. Some of them are very beginner. Some of them are get really advanced with cool subscriptions and cool features, but definitely look him up on his YouTube channel and uh, his Patreon subscription. It's great stuff. It's really, he's my current favorite avid teacher, influencer, guy who's going to show you some cool tool sets and stuff like that. What I think makes it really great is he's very active on avid user groups and forums and looking at the feedback. So a lot of the shows that you're going to see in 2024 that he's going to produce, it's going to come from feedback that he's getting from avid editors, new editors and old editors asking, how do I do this? You used to do a video on this or on stuff that's new. So a uh, big shout out to Kevin McAuliffe on his Let's Edit series and Video Guys is proud sponsor of that. Do we have a video clip that we can show here? Okay. Next stop, I want to talk about Avid Nexus Storage. Before I do that, I want to grab a little drink. There are lots of companies that sh sell shared storage for video editing and for video content producers. If you are primarily Avid editors or a team of Avid editors working together, your best choice still remains being Avid Nexus. Why? Because it's built for the Avid environment, kind of a home field advantage. You know, they know what's in Media Composer. They know what's in Pro Tools. It's all built to all work together, to all share the same files, to allow you to collaborate seamlessly. It's got some of the best metadata tools, and you can grow into their higher-end MAM-type software solutions. So when you go to Avid Nexus Storage, it is easier than ever to set up and configure. It is rock solid and stable. And best of all, you can configure it as needed to reset up who gets to do what and who gets to share what. So on Avid Nexus Storage, there's really two, two levels of flavor. There's the Nexus Pro type, uh, Pro Plus, which that's what mainly video guys sells. It's 40 terabyte engine. Uh, it's 11999. You can stack up to four of them together. You do need a switch to make it operate. You need a switch for any Nexus product to operate, but it's perfect for small shops of five, six, 10, 12 editors uh, wanting to collaborate on projects. Uh, we recommend it very highly. We, we've seen that there are a lot of, over the past few years, especially the last year, we've seen a lot of companies taking their corporate video back in-house when they were farming a lot of stuff out. So putting an Avid Nexus in a machine closet and then throwing uh, five or six editors throughout your corporate offices to be able to edit and work on those videos together and collaborate is a great way. We've seen Avid Nexus Pro done very, very well in the corporate space over the last few years. And we're very excited about that. And Avid Nexus Pro, not only is it great for Avid, but it does support projects in Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, Resolve, whatever you need to go with. If you're a more professional editing, you're a post house, you're an editing facility, you're someone who's working on that great documentary and you just got, you know, uh, green lit and you're going to be getting some money in there. You know, we really love the Avid Enterprise F series. These are more powerful, more faster, more powerful, larger, able to share and work on more projects simultaneously with more people. There's a whole series of F series. There's different ways to buy Nexus Pro now, uh, to buy the Nexus F series. You can buy it outright. You can buy it as part of Edge, as part of Flex Solutions. So one of the things I want to stress, is if you're looking for an F series, we've got a bunch of local dealers throughout the country who, if you're starting a post house in St. Louis or in Montana or in Chicago, wherever you are, we've got dealers we can refer you to, can review what you're looking to do and put you in the absolute right Nexus solution, as well as review whatever other Avid products you need to do the job and to do the job correctly. So I hope you found today's show enjoyable. Avid Media Composer today. It's got the AI tools. It's better than ever. Fantastic for collaboration, but also if you're an independent editor and you're looking to do things professional, it's the way to go. There's a lot of video editors to choose from. I am not telling you that you should only use Avid. We have people who do fantastic stuff on Premiere, on Final Cut, on Resolve. But if your goal is to do long form editing, if your goal is working with multiple, multiple cameras and camera angles, I'm talking five, 10, 20 different cameras and camera angles, multiple layers of audio. This is where Avid really shines, where Media Composer gives you a level of stability and an ability of trackability, and then add on that level of collaboration if you wanna work with a Nexus. 
and you just, I, I hope I'm giving you this image of where Avid fits in. If you're looking to become a professional editor or in Hollywood or work in that level of field, even if you're going to be an actor, I strongly suggest you check out Avid Media Composer. There are educational bundles available, versions that we didn't go into on this show. But like I said, you know, for, for the base cost of, let me pull it up again, $239 per year, you can be an independent Avid editor doing all your work on Media Composer. And once again, if you're looking to get into the ultimate, maybe you're going to work with other people in a shared environment, or you're looking for some of that stuff like Symphony, Phrase Fine, and Script Sync, the ultimate subscription is the way to go. And at four ninety nine ninety nine dollars 99 a year, if this is seriously what your profession is and how you want to make a living, investing $500 a year in your tool set, really not that expensive, really not that terrible. So once again, great job by Avid Media Composer. I'm sure over the course of the year, if they run some promotions and stuff, we'll do other shows on it. But this is just an overview of what Avid's got out there. If you're running the perpetual version, I strongly urge you to look into getting onto the subscription. I think at this point, when you look at the dollars involved, it just doesn't make sense to stay on perpetual unless you're, like I said, working in a corporate environment, a post house environment, where that's the version you have to be on to work with the other people who are in your uh, office, your enterprise. But if you're if you're an independent editor or if you're a group of editors looking to get into it, the subscription is definitely the way to go. This is Gary for Video Guys. Happy 2024. We'll see you next week. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.